tasting get a taste for those things that power the world to come because that's Ghost where we are going the Holy Ghost is Ghost God in the earth today, today. And you walk with him Holy by Ghost saying God words my name is Andrew Hemstrut thank you for joining us is if this is your first time here Jesus said make sure you subscribe right if this isn't your first time here Ghost and these messages God are blessing you today. then consider becoming a partner with us mark chapter 9 verse 1 verily I say unto you that there be some of them all of them no it's always that way some not everybody that there be some of them that stand here mm -hmm. where's that where do you stand on the moon on earth some of you that stand here which shall not taste of death till they have seen the kingdom of God come with power what kind of power would that be the power of the world to come and here it says they're gonna they'll have a taste for this Hebrews chapter 6 verse 4 those who were once enlightened tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. verse 5 and have tasted of the good Word of God and of the powers of the world to come so you have people here they've been enlightened they're partakers of the Holy Ghost they're tasting the good Word of God mm -hmm. they have a taste for the good Word of God and say and, and. the powers of the world to come so you can get a you can get a taste for the Word of God and the powers of the word of the world to come and the world to come would be the next iteration of what we are entering into right yep. and it's by tasting and having a taste for and knowing and experiencing those powers mm -hmm. that get us into the world to come what do you think the powers of the world to come are their powers that power the world to come so things that are powering the world to come we can get a taste for now when are you to get a taste for them when you get there you won't need to when you get there you'll already be there but we can have it now we can begin to use understand appropriate and walk in those powers now mm -hmm. say now yeah. and that's what will take us over to the world to come or the age to come someone has to go there can you see that somebody has to go there mm -hmm. so these are powers of the kingdom to come the age to come the world to come and that's a kingdom can you understand this mm -hmm. it's a kingdom there that would have a government it would have an economy it would have a currency it would have all these things that a kingdom would have mm -hmm. But we're beginning to experience it and walk in it and appropriate it now am I getting this across otherwise he shouldn't have said those things well I have been criticized by people for many of the things that I've said probably one of the most criticized things is when I say that Jesus isn't here because everybody wants Jesus to be here and with them but on the other side of their mouth they will also agree with me and say that Jesus shall return mm -hmm. and my point is if he's going to return he then he here. he ain't here he can't be here if he's going to return get this straight if we're talking about the real Jesus you might be talking about a fictional super spiritual essence of Jesus but the real Jesus is not here he shall return seems pretty simple to me I will posit many things tonight that you may have already heard of yet not considered the full implications of 
jesus returning people have not thought about the full implication of that is that if he's going to return which means he's not here mm -hmm. and these things that i'm going to say tonight you might have already heard but they need to be said in this way in order to go there where those words will take you so as you know i've been saying this recently i am going to speak more and more about the powers of the world to come why where do you think you're going to the world the age the kingdom to come getting closer to us we're getting closer to it mm -hmm. i will be speaking more and more about those powers of the world to come the powers that power that world to come the powers that power the kingdom to come yeah. which would be powers that power that government mm -hmm. to come powers that power that economy to come powers that power that healthcare system mm -hmm. to come right mm -hmm. it's it's a full kingdom and i'm going to speak more and more about a thousand years now a thousand years really isn't that long people think it is but it's really not that long i think of uh hong kong which was province of china back at the end of the second opium war you remember and england leased this land of hong kong from china for 99 years and back in 19 97 or 98 it had to return back over to china mm -hmm. they should have leased it for more than 99 years mm -hmm. look what happened to that province it went from being nothing uh -huh. a lot of it wasn't even developed at the time look at it now what would it be worth now in just a hundred years mm -hmm. i didn't know that i was going to talk about that but there you go but you had a kingdom that was able to develop and prosper in just the space of a hundred years what about a thousand years people say oh they don't believe in prosperity what if you had an investment that compounded in interest over a thousand years could that possibly be a lot of money we'll call those believer bonds so let's look at some of this and we've heard that jesus is going to return right yes. did i start this out okay jesus yes. remember him he left and is going to return and then reign where yes. on earth for a thousand years say a thousand years. a thousand years and i would say that most christians will have heard that mm -hmm. right some sermon or another they you know i'll take you to a few scriptures but they would have heard a sermon about jesus returning and reigning for a thousand years but that's usually where they left it somehow that happens when they die and go to heaven and then eventually somehow it happens some way somehow which means they don't really have to believe it because they're not having to put any feet to it acts chapter 1 verse 9 and when he jesus had spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight verse 10 and while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel ah where'd they come from which also said you men of galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same jesus is this a different jesus no the exact same jesus who was physically standing there talking to them who physically went up into a cloud right in front of them this same jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall are you still here mm -hmm. shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven are you going to believe that or not yes. you know you have all these choices every time you come up to things in your bible am i going to believe it or not i choose to believe it this same jesus is go he went up in a cloud so he's obviously going to come back 
in a cloud back down to earth the same Jesus mm -hmm. now is that same Jesus going to be what 2,000 years old what does a 2,000 year old person look like did it say this mummified Jesus will come back no so he must be operating in a power of the world to come that caused him to not be a shriveled up mummified Jesus 2,000 years old most of us would expect him to come back the same Jesus right yeah. so what must be a power in that world where he went into youth, youth renewal had to be a power there okay you know I've preached on this many times but we can also see in other verses of Scripture that when Jesus returns he's not going to be by himself he'll come back in the same way but he's also going to bring back 10,000 plus Saints with him so he's got some people with him Jude chapter 1 verse 14 and Enoch also the seventh from Adam prophesied of these things saying behold the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints so we know that Jesus will cometh in the same way that Jesus lefteth right yeah. and here it adds to it he will come with ten thousand of his ten thousands of his saints so it looks like it's more than ten thousand but it's at least ten thousand verse 15 to do what execute judgment upon all and it's including that these 10,000 saints that saints that come with him are coming with the same purpose mm -hmm. to execute judgment upon all revelations chapter 20 verse 1 I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand verse 2 and he laid hold on the dragon that old serpent which is the devil and Satan and bound him a thousand years mm -hmm. say a thousand years, a thousand years. Now here comes this angel he's coming down and he's going to bind the devil for a thousand years mm -hmm. verse 3 and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more mm -hmm. huh you think the nations are being deceived right now yeah. oh mm -hmm. my goodness you can turn on the tv and you watch people and they're like yes yeah, this is the greatest thing ever they're deceived by who the devil the satan the old serpent that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled again he said a thousand years shall be fulfilled and after that he must be loosed a little season <laughs> verse 4 and I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them you had obviously people that were here that were given thrones where did, where were they given these thrones on the earth mm -hmm. thrones for a thousand years right are you still here gotta keep up chapter 20 verse 4 and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years mm -hmm. say they lived, they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years so Jesus came back mm -hmm. right you hear yeah. Jesus comes back with his ten thousands and he sets them up all over the place and they live and reign with him a thousand years Jude chapter 1 said that the ten thousand Saints will come back with him and execute judgment hmm. here we've got thrones in judgment and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years verse 5 but the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished and this was the first resurrection so this is all hey this is all before the first resurrection mm -hmm. so get a grip here people this is going to happen before everybody is resurrected mm -hmm. Jesus will come back and people will live for a thousand years and establish a kingdom 
that has powers mm -hmm. of the world to come. can you see that this is to come what's the next thing to come heaven's the next thing to come no that's because that's all you've ever been preached is that you will die and go to heaven but that's not what's to come what's to come is the return of Jesus is anybody waiting for this mm -hmm. is anybody working for this mm -hmm. someone has to put their foot to this so Jesus can return and establish on this earth the reign of a thousand years mm -hmm. now let's consider some of these things remember people don't really like to consider Jesus returning because that would mean he's not with them right now right mm -hmm. so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take this logic we're gonna continue with this we're gonna consider this a little deeper as to what this means powers of the world to come we are beginning to experience and taste and get a taste I don't know about you but I'm getting a taste for the powers of the world to come and I put my finger on it right here so let's consider some of these things and many or most of these you might have even have heard of but never fully considered the present applications or the present implications what it actually implies for us right now at the end of this age powers of the world to come beginning to experience a power oh, and get this across beginning to experience powers of the world to come would be what is the world to come I, I hope I laid it out obviously I could go into this at hyper depth and it would take message upon message but the reality is the world to come is Jesus's return with thrones established mm -hmm. a kingdom a government an economy mm -hmm. a currency say a currency, currency. believers bonds mm -hmm. That will develop over a thousand years everybody thinks it's all oh, this is gonna be ah oh, it's gonna happen off in the off in the way future after I'm dead and gone to heaven something's gonna happen and we're either gonna be a part of it or we're not mm -hmm. I like that believers bonds you would invest in this if you really believed that this was going to this is what your future is that's what you invest in is the future you believe that something is going to be more valuable in the future than it is now so Jesus and his return what does that mean well first and foremost it means that uh, people are still alive Jesus being the actual proof of it he comes back and he's not looking like a 2,000 year old mummified being he's come back as Jesus the same Jesus and Saints also with him Saints mm -hmm. say Saints yeah. what are Saints followers of Jesus believers believers have also experienced the same thing and are coming back in the same way and I would point to Enoch who is obviously going to be one of them because he said and these will return well he went up and without without dying he pleased God and God translated him that he should not see death now we're gonna eventually go back to that verse I read there's gonna be people standing here that won't see death but will see the kingdom of God coming which means the establishment of these thrones this government this kingdom on earth and so these saints that returned with him are also not dead say also not dead, also not dead. and they will return with him and reign for a thousand years now how old are they that return with him and there will be if you listen there'll be a lot more people than just Enoch that get caught up and return in the 10,000 I preached on this before because Enoch is a type of the last day church right? but when he comes back how old is he gonna be I don't know but he won't be that shriveled up mummified Enoch that your pea little brain thinks and they will reign with him 10,000 years 
and this will affect greatly the global economy and global government well I don't want to believe it that way well then you're really not a believer in what the word says you've come up with some fictional thing that, that lets you off the hook these things seem radical because I'm talking about them as if they're real as a present reality something that we're beginning to get a taste for you can't have a taste for this if you never heard about it you can't get a taste for it unless it gets in your mouth and these powers that we're talking about are powers of the world to come powers that power this world to come powers that power this government to come powers that power this economy to come do you want to be a part of it do you want to get involved in it do you want to experience it youth renewal is a power of the world to come mm -hmm. can you experience that now yeah. what about the power of the economy to come can you experience that now yeah. mm -hmm. what about the power listen what about the power of the government to come mm -hmm. can you experience that now I say yes I believe this I believe that we can begin entering into tasting get a taste for those things that power the world to come because that's where we are going how about the power of the currency to come can we know it can we get a taste for it can we begin to experience it I'm going to be talking about these things more and more I hope you're with me the economic and I wrote it down this way the economic powers of the world to come and I have much more to say on this believers bonds mm -hmm. compound you understand compounded interest mm -hmm. over a thousand years and you say you don't want to be rich mm -hmm. well then this is not for you mm -hmm. are these people going to be rich yes I gave you the example of Hong Kong just over a hundred years mm -hmm. a thousand years of the reign of God seems pretty profitable to me Amen. and we have other I'm not gonna I don't have the time but we have other scriptures and uh, parables where Jesus said he's gonna go away and he's gonna come back and he's gonna put you over and if you're faithful he'll put you over five cities he'll put you over ten cities are you here what is that that's that's putting someone in a government position a power of the world to come what are you not supposed to believe for that so these are powers that we are beginning to say beginning to, beginning to. taste and experience remember Hebrews chapter 6 partakers of the Holy Ghost taste of the good Word of God and taste of the powers of the world to come have I shown you that so far we believe that's there and we're beginning to step over into it and it's by those powers of the world to come tasting experiencing that we enter over into it does this start to make more sense now how do you get this stuff I get this stuff because I worship the Holy Ghost as God and because in getting to know him he expands my belief to believe things that I couldn't believe before mm -hmm. I thought eh, that's nice that's obviously not for me but as I worship him he expands my belief to where I believe it is for me these are powers of the world to come and they take us these powers can you understand we begin to experience these powers begin to experience them and they take us to the world to come the kingdom to come which is where it's in heaven when you die no it's here is it working on you it's like man some of us would be taken up some say some some, some experience it and come back with Jesus and establish this thousand years I mean the angels themselves said why are you standing around looking up into heaven which is what everybody i look up up into heaven because when i die that's where i'll go and i'll be with my lord in heaven he said why are you doing that mm -hmm. 
he's coming back here get busy put feet to some stuff Jesus even said that he said get busy and I will make you when I return what over cities mm -hmm. oh you're taken out of context yeah, man, you are out of context <laughs> Acts chapter 3 verse 19 repent you therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord verse 20 and he will send Jesus Christ which before was preached unto you verse 21 whom the heaven must receive and literally other translations say retain the heaven must retain him until say until until, until the times of restitution or restoration of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of his holy prophets since the world began so some things are going to have to be established on earth for Jesus to come back to for him to reign over we are working on this and the, listen and it's the powers of the world to come that we're beginning to experience and to grab onto because it is what we're called to do taste and see we begin to establish this all things spoken oh you're just part of a cult no I just happen to believe the things that you said that you did but really don't and I'm putting my feet to it first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 25 for he Jesus must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet 26 the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death you are his feet the body of Christ again I posit if you put the last enemy under your foot someone has to do it where are these people at who put the last enemy under their foot on earth they're not the people in heaven they don't have to put death under their feet it has to be listen to me it has to be people that are here on earth that put the last enemy under their feet that one that means all the other enemies were judged and you know at the end of that thousand years he's gonna you know release the devil for a little bit there's other reasons I could preach on that but I'm not going to we've got a thousand years to do some stuff mm -hmm. are you here should you have youth renewal working for you if you're going to reign for a thousand years he said he said his saints are gonna live and reign with him for a thousand years mm -hmm. now I can't believe that don't worry about it you don't have to you won't ever be concerned with it but if you're going to put your feet to it you will begin to believe these things and worshiping the Holy Ghost will expand your belief I worship you Holy Ghost he expands your belief to where you listen you can believe and experience and taste the powers of the world to come and I won't just be some crazy looking preacher guy saying things that you've heard but you didn't believe but I'll be maybe still that same crazy looking preacher guy but you'll begin to believe it you will taste it the good Word of God and taste the powers of the world to come and know that that's for you and you can go there you couldn't go there before you couldn't go there without belief you can't go anywhere without belief you can't go to healing without believing in healing you can't go to youth renewal without believing in youth renewal and you can't go to the world to come without believing in the powers that power the world to come are you getting this yes. well there had to be someone to come along and say these things because this is the last days and it's all been said before but it's never been actualized someone never really believed they could actually go there mm -hmm. they didn't have the capacity for it but you do this thousand year reign is on the earth 
where are you me too who else is here the Holy Ghost is here it is belief in him it is worshiping him it is walking with him that will quicken you to the place where you will have your youth renewed because we know this is, this is how God does things everybody in heaven anybody that's coming back they're an actual person they have their youth renewed are you here mm -hmm. <sighs> thousand years of a global kingdom a global economy powers of the world to come two things you can't believe that well don't worry about it you won't be involved mm -hmm. but number two you actually don't believe what you've already been taught and it's tripping you up the worship of the Holy Ghost gives you that expansion of belief the capacity to believe things that you never thought you could before how many ever thought you could believe this before mm. is anything too hard for the Lord all things are possible with God all things are possible to him that believes are you hearing this believes what believes this and like I said who is healing for healing is for those who believe in healing how about youth renewal mm -hmm. same thing youth renewal is for those who believe in youth renewal how about Jesus return and a thousand year reign mm -hmm. who's that for people who believe in it and believe for it truly a global enterprise you know people sometimes ask me, oh it seems like you you know you really expect a lot and I tell them very often I say you have no idea <laughs> you have no idea but frankly I didn't have any idea either and it's just opening up more and more say it opens up, it opens up. more and more, more, and more. You see the next glory you didn't see you don't see the next glory till you get to the the one right before you yeah. but as you step into that glory a whole new one opens up to you and guess what it's even more it's even greater can you even imagine what's coming up next mark chapter 9 verse 1 and he said unto them verily I say unto you that there be some of them that stand here which shall not taste of death until they have seen the kingdom of God come with power and with power what power is the power of the kingdom it's the power of the world to come we're beginning to taste it we're getting a taste for it mm -hmm. and it's by knowing tasting and having access to that power of the world to come that will take you there you get a taste for it and then you see it say I get a taste for it I get a taste for it and then I see it and then I see it you taste mm -hmm. and then you see I hope that I provided you with somewhat of a taste for it so that you can see it Holy Ghost I thank you for embracing us as your people in this earth and beginning to transform us into someone who can fulfill all things that were spoken and be worthy of those things and those thrones and those kingdoms that you are giving to us here and now even in this place and we shall stand forth and occupy the great places that people wanted to look into for years and years and years but they couldn't but we will and we shall fulfill it all and Jesus shall return and when we will reign with him in Jesus name amen, amen. If you have a tithe or an offering, hold it in your hand. Say this after me, Holy Ghost. I thank you that my money is beginning to multiply. And it shall not stop just here, but it shall multiply for a thousand years until it becomes the greatest thing that it could ever be on earth in Jesus' name. Amen. Right hand, Holy Ghost, your God.